Stars are not stationary in space but move, and sometimes they can get too close to a black hole, suffering the effects of its extreme gravitational field. In the best case scenario, the star is deformed and then completely destroyed, but the results can be even worse. Black holes are formed by the death of very massive stars, those with a mass over 25 times that of the Sun, which at the end of their lives collapse under their own weight, sometimes after a supernova. This collapse occurs in a fraction of a second and generates stellar black holes with masses between 3 and 10 times that of the Sun. There are also supermassive black holes, which are found at the center of galaxies and reach masses from a hundred thousand to billions of times that of the Sun, probably formed through the merger of smaller black holes. The gravitational force of a black hole is so strong that it curves the surrounding space and also traps light, making it invisible but detectable through the effects it exerts on its surroundings, as in binaries with visible stars or through gravitational waves. Another way to detect a black hole is to watch for tidal disruption events, in which a star gets too close and is torn apart, causing a sudden increase in brightness. This happens mostly in galactic centers, where supermassive black holes reside. The tidal force, or the difference in attraction between the near and far parts of the star with respect to the black hole, deforms it until it tears apart. A star can follow a parabolic orbit and escape after a single encounter, or an elliptical orbit and return several times, losing mass at each pass until it is completely destroyed. The released material forms an accretion disk and a corona of plasma that emits X-rays. In some cases, this corona is expelled in very powerful jets. The resistance of a star depends on the mass of its core. Those with more massive cores can survive longer. A recent study has documented a tidal disruption event called a T2018FYK in a galaxy 900 million light years away, where a sun-like star was partially destroyed by a 50 million solar mass black hole. After a flare lasting 500 days, a second flare was observed three years later, suggesting recurring close passes every three years. If the star is not completely destroyed, the next encounter with the black hole is expected in March 2025. These events, studied for about 50 years, help to better understand the formation of accretion disks and to calculate the masses of black holes.